God, you. I think I might just do random boss relic. What do we get? Huge, huge. To wake the fuck up. Chat, wake. This is it. This is the start. Let me get the coffee. This is it. Now we start. None of that other stupid stuff. Okay. Where's the path? Is this a shiv deck? Jesus, take the wheel. Dead branch, take the wheel. Molten egg floor one. Why am I getting attack based silent, huh? Why am I getting attack based silent? Like, Silent can just give me a nice array form intangible poison deck. It's gotta be. No, sir. You're taking grand finale. You're not gonna single single piercing whale. I wanna see a viscerate because it's optimal. You're taking metamorphosis because you need it. Who the hell do you think you are trying to get poison, catalyst, and intangible? That's for scrubs, and you're not a scrub. Okay, Silent, I, I hear you, but, uh, you know, sometimes in life, it's a little stressful to have to do attacks all the time. Man the fuck up. You got Molten Egg. Show me what you got. Well, just a vessel, huh? Uh, let me see what we're gonna do here. Let's see what we're gonna do here. I can't decide the path. I wonder, can I go for two leads? Do I go here first and maybe pivot and then either do some leads here early on or do a late one elite elite? We're doing one elite sparkle. You know, that's a really bad path. Yikes, let's go this path and see what we get in terms of pivot potential. I don't want to ruin this. I want this to be a good run. Well, this to be the urn. This is the urn. Uh oh. I think we gotta just do strike here, otherwise, uh, what are the odds that we don't get. Le okay, lethal next turn would be. I would need two more strikes. We have a bane in the deck. Is that any bane and strike? Or two strikes? Two strikes, one bane, one strike. How are our chances? Let us see, young ones. I never doubted it for a second. Strike wasn't even an out. Okay, now we're cooking with gas. Got Sucker Punch Plus or Heal Hook Plus? I like Heal Hook. Granted, we upgrade, up, uh, uh, neutralize, right? Is Sucker Punch better, though? Hmm, Heal Hook is... Only is only okay now if I have neutralized plus. Heal goes well with sucker punch plus. Sucker punch is better though. I, I don't even have to upgrade neutralize now if I take sucker punch. I wonder if heal is better though. That gives me damage for the exit ghost. Uh, yeah, heal might be better there. This is just a dead branch run. Let's make it come to P. So infinite blades for dead branch. We gotta think about that. So full work is really good here to round out everything else that's going on in the deck. Infinite blades gives a dead branch every single turn. Something to think about as well. Flying me plus finesse. Move. So we lost Shuriken. This run no longer has Shuriken. Find me a mix. I can do more dead branch stuff. Ooh. Do I go for a full heal? Nah. We want to get rid of strikes because we are going to be replacing our strikes with much better attacks, upgraded attacks. So getting rid of strikes is quite optimal because we are going to be getting a lot better attacks with Molten Egg. So I would like to do a big switcheroo, please. Thank you very much. Once you see a relic in the shop, you cannot get it anymore. It's out of the pool. So those three relics that I just saw are no longer available. So Blade Dance 
and Red Branch is something to consider. How much do I want to bloat? How much do I want to bloat here? Well, they plans is more consistency. Bladeness could be the bloating that I need. Is this a two elite fight? Do we have what it takes for the two elites here? Yeah, I think we're good against triple sentry for sure. This guy's probably the scariest one. Endless Agony, or this is the gift that keeps on giving here. So now we got Weaken and we got Dead Branch, so that was a really good turn. Stormer Steel gives us Dead Branch for days. Did we take advantage of it? Yay or nay? Uh, maybe the bloat was too much. Skewer's still an out now. Alrighty. Dagger spray. So, do we want to use the, the Xerdy Pot as a way to heal because of Toy? Do we want to upgrade another card like Neutralize or is the rest too important? So how do we handle like a Wolden without resting? This is a free fight, but the rest is relevant because we are going to use... This is probably an Xerdipot fight, actually. I could have saved life there. This is probably an Xerdipot fight. And I believe it is, actually. I think Fulbright's probably better here. Is it? I can only hold on to so many cards. I think I like this better. Go sleep with your mommy, buddy. Go sleep with mommy. Go, go. I vote bloat. Has anybody seen my remote? I wish I could float. It's only bit. It's only a bitch. So they let me put on my coat. You're spitting bars, dude. You're out here. Oh, what the doppel? What the what the what what what? What is going on? What? Doppel into distraction. Distraction into doppel. This shit's crazy. This shit's crazy. Lizard tail. Oh, baby, we're going aggro. Give me leg sweep here. That was interesting. Gremlin, huge. Do we want to go for other upgrade or do we want to go for more elites with a lot of hallway fights? I mean, that's a lot of hallway fights. Yikes. What am I upgrading, though? Wally plans to neutralize. Some scrub stuff. That's some scrub stuff. I do want to upgrade while they plans though. I can't deny that one. That one I cannot deny. I can't deny it. Really? That's unbelievable. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of nuts. Give me one more elite. Let me get these elites. Ooh, finisher is interesting. If we get shifts in the future, dagger spray number two. I don't know about that. What about backstab? Good damage also gives us Mr. Ranch. Get the RNG started ASAP. 
get the energy going ASAP. Token dagger, big blow, big blow, love it. You call it blow, I call it options. Uh, I think I'm gonna start now. Hold on, click sweet. <clears throat> Not bad. We could have waited for the curse to come out. If the curse comes out, then technically we are doing a little bit better. We also put footwork first. No matter. I think we hold on to dagger spray. Oof. The fact that we can't play sucker is a little unfortunate. Maybe if I didn't rush the fight. Maybe the fight gets rushed. Maybe dead branches carries here. Uh, let's see. Forward is interesting. It's pretty good healing. Uh, the problem is the strength. Damage ASAP. I'm playing way too slow with no poison. I can just lose the fight. Poison would be fantastic. Oh my god. Lo and behold, the poison has arrived. Poison has arrived, my friends. We got eight damage. No problem. Ice cream. Ooh, predator. Predator's pretty good, huh? Snake oil insurance. Chemical egg. Oh, grand finale. Are you back? Are you back for more? I like happy flower. Duplication, masterful, leg sweep. Wow, snake a Y. Did we do chemical X? For absolutely nothing? No. Happy flower, maybe? Remove one more strike to replace with other stuff? Sounds nice. Happy flower, RP super, we're not gonna see this ever again. I'm happy I don't see this again. Happy flower is quite good. Do we like Mashable Stab here? For big damages? Do we like Infinite Blades for Ultimate Blow? Do we like Trip for Vulnerable? Is this actually really good? Chemical X is good with Dead Branch because you can get Double Gangers and stuff. It's actually quite nice if you think about it. Double Gangers drop and Skewers drop. Uh, trip is pretty, maybe not bad for damage. It doesn't attack base silent. Maybe just take Trip, upgrade it. I feel like Trip is pretty relevant. I'd rather just get a Terror, but this is good for AoE fights, maybe. With Dagger, and dagger Spray. Is that the play, or... Take Dodger Roll because we have Footwork. Might just be a Trip here. Maybe Duplication Pot as well. Hmm. But I take damage. I can do I don't have to rest. Maybe Lesser Tail becomes the play. I don't, I'd rather not lose Max HP here. Yeah, I should, I should be taking the Happy Flower there, probably. That looks quite nice with Dead Branch, yeah. I did mention that. I don't want to lose Max HP, that's quite low. It's fine. And what, what's the best upgrade here? Probably Welly Plans. It's either Welly Plans or uh, Footwork here. As upgrades. Remember, ice cream is quite nice. If it keeps on giving. I want to save my energy here. Drummer still could be clutch later on. If I, if I keep ice cream going. Drummer still could be really clutch later on if I keep ice cream going. Concentrate for ice cream is really good as well. Concentrate for ice cream is really good. 
And then we just gotta try to hold them to blocks though. Because if we don't have blocks, then what are we doing, you know? We're gonna blow the deck, but I don't mind that. Just gotta keep getting trip as often as possible. Put set up on top with leg sweep, that's not bad. Taking that burn damage would suck. So now we have leg sweep for free. Another energy surplus. I'm gonna risk keeping us going. This might be a stormer still turn. Do we want to take advantage of shivs and bloke the deck, or is that crazy? Is the deck really crazy here, or are we on the tail end of the fight and we're gonna win anyways? Not bloat if you get that. Phantasm Killer, it's not bloat if you get that. It's not bloat if you get that. It ain't bloat if you get that. It ain't bloat if you get that. It ain't bloat if you get this. None of it's bloat if you get that, baby. Don't know about you. But I ain't bloated. We can do, do Cockleaver on top. on top. Like Or like this. Save it for next turn. Yo, Longreach with the gifted to East Beast. Welcome, East Beast. And thank you, Longreach. Want to see some damage? Say no more. Say no more. Oh, hi. How much damage is that? Hmm, interesting. 42? I think I could do better. Hmm. Do I like it anyways? 42? Go for the big play next turn? What else do you want to do? You want to look for Predator? You want to look for Trip? You want to look for Predator and Trip? Is that what we want to do? Predator and Trip? That's GG. Yeah or nay? Want to do 242? Next turn Predator Trip is lethal anyways. And they thought that you should rest. They said, Jeremy, you should rest. Silly. So Glass Knife, Corpse Explosion. Glass Knife is interesting. It's already upgraded. Corpse Explosion is an AoE monster mama jamba bamba holy smacks. Gotta think about Corpse Explosion because Corpse has filled such a particular, particular, particular niche. It's very powerful. Fulfills a very particular spot of importance in all places of the run. But Glass Knife already upgraded. It is a slammer jammer front loaded. We no longer upgrade, so that means we're not going to upgrade the trip. It means we're not going to upgrade the footwork. We're not going to upgrade the leg sweep or the focus. So the only upgrade I'm really missing out on is probably neutralizing footwork, but we get energy as a result. Now, if we discard a card, we have Survivor to get energy, and that's it. Now we can do Pandora's. Now Pandora's can get rid of all our defense and two of our strikes and give us molten egg shenanigans. But getting upgraded attacks with three energy, I guess ice cream is a thing. Ah, uh, yikes! I think I'd rather just get the guaranteed mold uh, energy. But then, what are we gonna do with campfires? We also get ceramic egg, right? So this gives us how much gold? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That gives us gold as well. It's not something to dismiss. I don't think we get sixty-three gold by going Pandora's. But we lose energy. I guess ice cream could always be a thing. But gremlin horn is also a thing. Do either cry at campfires or roast marshmallows? Uh, maybe we'd cry and roast at the same time. Are we sad and really sad if we don't upgrade footwork or trip? Or can we get by without upgrading here? So kite only has one target. It's not that good here. Now there's a ton of things from Dead Branch that can give me kite value. Now Pandora's gives me 63 gold and gives me upgraded things. But I get rid of my basic defensive footwork. So right now footwork is really important to make my defense do something. Otherwise I have no block. It adds cards so I get fish. Mm -hmm. But, um, if footwork has no other targets, if I don't get defense, then I don't really like that. I mean, I wonder if we can just make a funny, wacky deck with ice cream and Grumman Horn. Maybe that's fine. And we won't have defense. I think Fusion Hammer is just more consistent here. Sorry, folks. So I want to redo this, even do Pandora's. Let me know how it goes. Pay big bucks. I'll pay the big bucks to do it. 
you want to do elites here? So we can do one, two, three elites. Or. Aki, yeah. Hmm. So I want to do sparkle. So look, oh my god, look at all these upgrades, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This would have been an upgrade, an upgrade, an upgrade, an upgrade, a rest, an upgrade. Look at those campfires. Bam, bam, bam. But we want to get one elite, which is the sparkle, which is pretty important. The way we're going, we're going to leave sparkle for X. Okay, is all attack worth it here? Quick slash, because of the energy. I mean, what, which, which, which one? Which one of these are we taking here? Did we just bet it all? I should have. Why didn't you guys say so? crying in here, buddy. I was wasn't about the top one anyways. I'll maneuver. Is it, do you think I'll maneuver ice cream is worth it here? Backflip is pretty good, but I think this might be better. Let's go for it. RP waffle. So we're not going to see this again on the run. We can say RP. We can give a thorough send off. RIP to both preserved and anchor. Acrobatics might be good here. Um, what do you think about the Shets Plus? That's interesting. So now we need a rest. Do we just go here, rest, rest, and then go two elites? Or do we want to go for an extra elite? Let's go for double rest, potentially. One second, I gotta get the door. I got a lot of commotion in my house right now. You guys are not ready for this. You guys are not ready for this. Like something this guy was more important. Slash knife. The book is pretty important here. The book is totally worth it. I'm going over here. I got ice cream, baby. Look at ice cream go. Crippling Cloud, look at Crippling Cloud go. Look at Crippling Cloud exist. Look at Crippling Explosion, the magic. Look at us about to win this run. Big happy. Okay, flechettes. Uh, I think we have too many attacks. Do we like blade dance for the, the blow? I don't think so. Do we want double rest for double elite? Maybe. I'd rather not recall right now. Are we ever sparkling? Do we go here, recall, then sparkle? Is that what we're doing? Or double elite is more important? Here's the problem. If I do sparkle for act three, guys. So we're already kind of ahead of the curve of relics. If I do sparkle for Act 3, it might force my path to be really bad. And I don't... Do I want to give the path really bad or do I want to get two relics for now? What's more important? Let's get the sparkle out of the way. So I'm not sure it's not going to get value, right? Fuck, it gets some value. Fuck. Well, that's a tough one. That might be a key. Do we go for the upgraded bites? Huh. I don't think so. That's tempting. Upgraded bites. 
Oh, baby, I don't know. Someone tell me. Hold my hand. I don't really want to add. I don't want to add three strikes to my deck. Just for the event. Maybe this is the proper time to rest. Maybe it was. Who knows? I should have done draw first, imagine. So we do this, and we just go full poison. Take some damage, get a wound, who cares? Same story, get a wound, who cares? Glass knife instead of crippling there. Although the weekend would be nice. Okay, I want to draw here. I draw until a lot of good cards coming up. Do I want to save my energy or do I want to just do damage? Uh, don't we just do a lot of good damage coming up? Like Predator and Flying Knee and stuff like that. I don't know if this is worth it. Because we have good stuff coming up next turn. Waveform is pretty good. I don't think I have anything secure. This is 30, 30 plus. It's actually 24, 24 plus that. It's 41, 41 plus. <coughs> cool. Now let's see if we want to go oh, more interesting riddle. Tactician. Is tactician ever good? I mean, with ice cream, it's interesting. So sometimes it hits acrobatics, sometimes it hits survivor, but most of the part doesn't hit anything. Tactician would be cool if I had more cards draw and more discard, but I don't. So we do just rest. We we'll go for events. Events are pretty good, especially now we have Omari. Think we'll rest twice. Damn. Corpus Lord's in waiting room. Or let's just do this. Open the door for the dogs now. Oh, that's unfortunate. I, I just charge. I slapped the rest, anyways. Corpse explosion just wins. Want to find corpse? Corpse. Better. The ability to have block with Lexip is pretty important. Predator that enables a lot of stuff. I think I like this better. Predator is pretty good though. Especially if I get Snake Wire. If I get Snake Wire, Predator is probably better. If I get Snake Wire, we're gonna cry. Um, I want to hold on to Corp Explosion for next turn because that's really good. Do I take multiple Corp Explosions in this fight? Uh, hmm. I already have one in the deck. Do I like. Do I like thousand cuts for this fight? No. Nope. Multiple corpse poison is interesting for the minions. Oh, we get gun horn. Hmm. I could hold on to corpse. If I do this now, poison with fire pot can kill it. I can also just hold on to corpse for now and use it when it's more appropriate. That maneuver is pretty nice here. It gives me a nice surplus. I'm a big fan of that. We do corpse now. We've got lethal, which I think is probably relevant. I don't mind this. We can retain three cards as well. So 
So we retain a lot of cards. How many is really important to play, in my opinion? I think I'm gonna be supposed to play. Um, I think it's really important to play. Mushroom shrooms could be useful. I don't think I need it. Maybe. Mushroom shrooms doesn't hurt. Grand finale is back. Back in the business. Do we like Survivor Reflex here? Do we like Is Grand Finale playable next turn? Probably not. Is it ever playable in this fight? Maybe. I think Grand Finale could be playable in this fight. Not necessary. I think it's pretty good for this deck. Um, hmm. I guess I should have kept on Grand Finale because I guess Gambish would make Grand Finale a bit better, huh? Huh. If we kill the minions, I mean, if I'm putting damage on the minions, I'm basically hoping that Grim Horn does something, whereas I can just put damage on here and he dies, but the fact is, they do a lot of damage. If I just get one of them low, Corpus Explosion kills the other, I have two in the deck to draw into. Sorry, only one, never mind. We put our damage here. Um, hmm. For this, do we feel like we need to, or is the fight already won? I always do Gamage Group Tactician and get a big turn right now, but I think that uh, I think the fight's fine. I'm not worried here. Should I be worried? Potentially. Potentially, should be worried. Offered attacks. I think attack be silent is all I, I I can get. I'm allergic to everything else. I win all the poison runs I do. So if I can win the attack based silence I get, then I can go on a massive streak. Because I feel like a, the poison deck silence would play themselves very easy, very consistent. If you can win attack based silent, then you're just you're you're a beast. So did I die? I think is not as relevant. Uh, that might just be a skip, honestly. So potions been giving us some value with the potions been giving us pretty value with the uh, toy ornithopter. I think I would love some energy right now. So, do we take Busted Crown? Do we not care about cards anymore? No Rise is carrying the rest. What cards do we want to see? The Toy Anathopter is not as relevant because I have to, I'm forced to rest. Because I can't upgrade, I'm forced to rest. So maybe getting upgraded cards is, like, you know what I mean? 
So why would I value Ornithopter when I'm forced to rest because of this, you know, for the most part? So maybe Soul Seed's better. Although I think this deck probably wants potions to handle the heart. Because if I don't get good potions for the heart, then do we just lose? So then that means Busted Crown. But then what is Busted Crown looking for? So if we have Busted Crown, um, what cards do we think that we don't need anymore? Or what would we look for? Well, we'd like more footwork, maybe. Then what else? So this is Snekawai. What do we care about? If this is Snekawai, do we want to see more cards? If this is Snekawai in this chest. Oh, this is the chest. What am I talking about? Wow. Holy shit. For a second, I thought I was going to see a relic after this. That was a big brain fart. Interesting. Okay. So does this deck like want potions for the heart as insurance? Or do we just like getting energy? What is Busted Crown basically saying? Do we care about cards? Or do we just have Dead Branch No Rise? What? We're looking for... I guess we're looking for piercing whales, and we're looking for maybe a malaise. Maybe we're just looking for relics. I think we want to prioritize events because we have both of these. So Omomori and this wants to be used, so we look for hardcore events. What other cards are we looking for if we take Sozu or take Busted Crown? Hmm. More footworks? What else does this deck want? Terror? I don't know. I think we just take Sozu. You know, maybe the Buster Crown's fine, because we do have, like, no rise in the branch, so... Will, will that potions be our savior? So that's Spark out of the way, that's nice. I want to prioritize events, because I really want to try to get advantage of Matryoshka and... Momori? Let's see what we can do with it. I think... I'm gonna be pretty important. I just wanna use a potion now and kill this guy. Save myself life. Bane plus. Singing bowl will be fantastic. RNG run. Up to the RNG run. Welcome to the RNG run, lads. The odd maneuvers I have. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys are trolling me, right? I'm being trolled. Tell me I'm being trolled right now. Tell me I'm being trolled. Uh, poison, please. Poison, please. Poison, please. Yay, poison. I can throw... I uh, no. I guess we have a lot of energy. I guess I didn't realize I took fusion hammer, so I didn't actually need energy. My offense would be quite nice, right? We're losing defense. Get out of here, defense. What a weird little deck. What a weird little deck. What is going on? I don't want to take this. I don't want to take this damage. This probably in Gambler's room. I think if we use Gambler's room to save damage, we're we're smart individuals, but we're forced to rest, right? So we can take we can take damage. I lied. We're, a smart place to take damage. Only because the rest is forced. And that's unfortunate. Uh, 
I hope I don't damage kill this guy. This guy does do a lot of stuff pretty quickly. He's a pretty fast boy. Catalyst and Bouncing Flask is in my deck. Maybe that's relevant here. Let's hope so. I feel when you have to depend on. When you have to depend on. Alright. Reform should be nice insurance just in case things get hairy. Because I have Callus applied, so maybe Reform just buys his time. Do we need it? Why not, right? Another Callus. If, if that's the luck we're getting against the heart, is that too slow against the heart, anyways? I guess Bustic Crown's back because we want Reform for the heart. I, I totally forgot Reform exists. I just, it just dawned on me. What we want for the heart is Rayforms. And Rayforms and, and other things. Like Rayforms and Bridging Wells. And I don't get that if I... Is I wonder if it worth it because of Ice Cream or one enough. Is Flex out better because I have a lot of attacks? Is Flex out better than Colorless here? Man, bam, thanks for Twitch Prime, buddy. 12 months. Welcome, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to get events. I really want to hit. Oh, did we just get that gold? Yo, 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 yo. We can get a rare relic. Rare relics are quite nice, right? Or we can just get 990 gold for free. Uh, what shops are we looking for? There's a shop right there. 990 gold for free? Sounds nice, right? That means we just got to get to that shop. Once we get to that shop, we're looking like a rich boy. That's the dream. That's the goal. Dream, that's the goal. I never wanted to wraith this early. Problem is, our block's a little shoddy. Well, we got match rational value. Uh, we got, sorry, we got wraith. Sorry, we got a memorial value. Hopefully, we can get match rational value. So, if we're match rational value, we're gonna need to hit a big old chest right there, like a big lucker. I'm a fast boy. With no streak, we go fast. Um, I wonder if. We have 11, 20, I think we practically full block. I'll hold on to reform. Seems worth it. We're forced to rest, so again, we can just take damage. We can take damage. We got catalyst, there's also burst. Is there any more poison I can apply before this catalyst? Let's see what we get here. Storm of Steel, you're trolling me. Okay. What if Storm of Steel doesn't be necessary? Mm, do we have no damage on this guy? Or are we like super scared? Are we supposed to be doing reform now? I mean, remember, we could rest. You guys know that, right? We could rest. That's pretty decent damage. Hey, you think poison should fill it out, maybe? I mean, we could rest, but is rest? How much does rest cover? So we're gonna take like what? Twenty-six. Do I rest for around twenty-six? I should kill in time. Nightmare is cool. Nightmare Adrenaline. That means I can kill next turn. Nightmare Adrenaline. And hold on to Predator from a steal. I uh, figured it out. We do this. We hold on to these. We don't have trip anymore. I will be drawn to trip. That'd be great. All right, boys. Here we go. 
So I'm gonna play one of these cards. I wanna look for trip, but like let's do this first. Alright, can you allow me to just play cards please? Fuck. We got lethal anyways. But it's so much fun to do this. You gotta be having fun. Mobink, you're trolling me. Forcing me to rest for a mall bank. Ugh. This is why fusion hammers were the worst. You're telling me I'm getting rid of pitagraph? Pendip is very relevant. Pendip is very relevant. This fight is rough. Pendip is super relevant. More resting. More forced rests. Please don't attack up so much, sure. Great form, pretty nice. I like it. Uh, I think we just gotta look for poison. Don't do that. Don't do that. Huh. Uh, I guess we're gonna rest, so it's not the end of the world. We'll figure out the damage. Last thing I want is a parasite. There's my damage. Uh, am I supposed to be doing like attacks or are we scared of changing his intentions? I like that. So against the heart, how does this win, my friends? Does anybody know? Does anybody have the answer? Phantasmal. Ooh, that's really cool. Get Pendip coming up. Is gonna hold on to dash predator wraith form? That's pretty nice. Ah, but I didn't hold on to the weekend. I didn't apply the weekend. Uh oh. Does this do enough? Oh my god, that does so much damage. Holy shit. What the fuck? Is he hook good in this deck for more damage? We have we have two leg sweeps and we have a neutralized. Is he hook just good here? For pendant stuff? Or is it a dead draw when I don't find weaken? We got neutralized two leg sweeps. And it does damage. With trip involved. Who's the boss? Time meter. Ooh, don't deck is probably scary. Time meter? Uh, how do we kill time meter? I'm a little worried. Time meter is a little bit worrisome. No resistance to carry. Uh, I'm not even sure how we approach these things. We do have a lot of gold. Now, does heal hook help against time meter? For potential... Pendips? I don't think so. Right, more resting. Goblin Horn's gonna get popped. Is this fight really bad for us? Does this fight scare us really bad? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Seems to be the name of the game here. Maybe that's a very low impact card to add. Hmm. Mm hmm. Thousand seems pretty good. Uh, did we just kill this fight in time or are we dead? I'm supposed to do power pot. Maybe I'm supposed to get a skewer. Maybe I need skewer in my deck. Skewer is my, my scaling with pendant. Skewer pendant kills this fight. So how do I find that? How do I find a skewer? Hmm. Hmm. Now I need skewer for sure, but skewer doesn't exist. How do we do this? We need phantasmal. 
backflip damage bro and look for what I'm supposed to look for here so we're taking damage luckily we're, we can still rest we have two tail no this might be a lizard tail fight this might be a lizard tail fight I don't know if we're supposed to like straight up do damage and hope for the best or we're trying to block this he's got so much slow applied already I don't know uh, I would like to preserve lizard tail but Maybe this is the play. Hmm. We're out of energy now. Desperately need to find Trip. That's what we need to find right now. We need to find Trip really bad. My hand's clogged. And it could be unclogged. If I can just find Trip. I can play sneaky strike. That's be pretty important. Yikes. Okay. So I need to unplug my hand. I would love to do that. Thank you. This might be my lethal turn. This might be it. We got pendip. Might be the turn. What are we pen to be? Is this gonna be this or that? Does it matter? No. Okay, so we get, can I just pop fruit juice now? That would be fantastic. Yikes. Damn, that's a little unfortunate. So f Helix is quite nice. Um twisted funnel helps for damage. Why why not just buy it, right? No, I don't want the Ninja Scroll. Do we like... Ninja Scroll gives us a dead branch right away. I wonder if that's worth it. None of these potions are that good. We can hold on to the Dexterity Pot. That might be necessary. I think Funnel helps a little bit. Sure, why not? Gets rid of artifacts. Cow Traps might be necessary for the Heart or... <laughs> heart or Time Eater or Donor Deck, right? I think we can move a Strike as well. Mm. Couch, is Cow Traps a worthwhile buy here? Maybe we just do Futures and pop the Dexterity here? This gives us a lot of dead branch, but I don't know if that's good or not. Cow traps worth it, yay or nay. Can't upgrade it, but at least gives us some thorns. It's like a bronze skills that I can play. That might be relevant for the heart, or is our damage against the heart totally fine? Okay, so it looks like a big nay. Uh, are we fast enough for this fight? We have corp explosion and we have good damage. Maybe this gives us everything we need in life. Is everything we need in life. I wish I could block this guy, because if I could block it, then I would keep my buffer. Um. Hmm. Do I do power pot and see if I can get like an after image and then after image take sturdy pot? Never am I doing that, right? We just take more damage here, unfortunately. Unfortunately, 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 sometimes in life you don't get blocked because I don't have anchor. We got corpse though. So, corpse kills. Fight could be worse. It's like a pen up here. Could be worse. Oh baby, the only problem with that bad boy is I do not have calculated gamble plus. But do I enjoy it? Absolutely. Now I want to ask you, why did you come on this run and not the other one? 
sneaky, sneaky, strip, silent, crazy stuff. Predator is a really good card, but Tough Bandage is actually not that good here. I mean, I won't complain. I won't complain. Okay. That's good damage. Um, sure. If I dexterity, I still can't. I still lose my buffer. So how do I? How do I? It's more efficient this way. Are we very sad we lost buffer? Absolutely. Do we want to do power pot? Maybe. I didn't take so two for a reason. It's gonna be a difficult fight. I'll tell you that much. Three form team is all but necessary. Hmm. I've been doing the most weird silent runs known to man. That's just what I'm doing. Terror is pretty important. Nightmare Wraith form. Does that win the run? Does that just win the run? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have a lot of terms of intangible. Now, I must ask you Is that enough? Do we just pop them willy nilly? Or do we look for um, a lace here? We can hit Malaise. Is Malaise worth it instead of Ray from here? So if I Malaise for six. Hmm. Technically, this person's doing. Twelve right now? No. See, I don't have no piercing wheels and I don't have ways to manage this. Loss of dexterity is going to be heavy. Discard, the tough energy always gives me discard for free block. The problem is, alright, maybe there's a world I can kill. I can survive in this amount of terms of intangible, but uh, First of all, I'm having trouble doing math, so is he doing 14 times 3 right now if he wasn't weakened? Or is it 13 times 3 right now? No, 14 times 3 if he wasn't weakened? Fourteen times three right now if he wasn't weakened, so that basically means I'm gonna do neg maybe at eight on times three if I do a full neutralize, only because I'm vulnerable actually. It's because I'm vulnerable. Oh, well, that's gonna be a big fat doozy. Yikers. I think we lost the run there. I don't know if I can even kill him this much time. heal we're gonna lose the terror does that matter catalyst would be huge I need to find a way to make catalyst pop off acrobatics is gonna be quite interesting after this is all said and done burst is interesting as well Well, 
thing I can say for sure is that if I do Rayfarm, I can hold on to Burst. So, so Kakala Game was really good, actually. I should have taken it. Fuck, Kakala Game gives me free block. Hmm. We have Kalos coming. Did I just do both Rayfarms now? Do I wait? I need more Kalos stuff. I think he's probably need a second nightmare. Hackers. Yep, we can only pick two cards here, so I think we just use the cards now. Yes or no? And then hold on to the finisher and hope for the best. Is choke necessary? Since he is invulnerable. Face. I mean attack. Uh, how much damage is that? It's fucking magical. A new skill will come. Okay, second boss. Are we dead? Most likely. This like a pendant. Put one. Boom. Couldn't get pentagraph. With the damn blue key. So what are we doing here? I think we always play while he plants here. I think we probably just lose buffer. I don't think I don't see a way around it. Uh, I would like to save corpse explosion for these guys, but what if I don't get it? So I just do this. I do this now. Is there a world where I could save buffer? I don't think so. So we're doing this. All right, lads. So, hopefully I can get some kind of scaling outside of this guy. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean, really mean. I think stacking weaken on this guy is pretty important. I think stacking pendant is pretty important. Full block. It's pretty important that we uh, go ahead and get ourselves some kind of win conditions with no rise. Depending on that in this kind of deck is a little bit scary. I must say. I think forward is worth playing. That means the multi hits are going to be just devastating. Do we just not play for work? The multi hits will be devastating. I'm forced to take one damage here because energy is more important than overblocking. My. Oh, Calculate Gamble is huge. I need more Calculate Gambles. Can I upgrade it, please? Calculate Gamble would be massive. That's how I block multi hits. Okay. Uh, well, I hold on to Calculate Gamble, but. What if. Well, fuck. There's Calculate Gamble now. I don't think I have enough block about full work at all. But I will waste that. So that I can push four. This gives me three block a turn, that's not very good. There's my block. I wanna push gl glass knife when you have trip, but like I don't have I guess I guess calipers. Not calipers, but pendant is pretty important here. I think poison's pretty good too. I mean that does block my deck for the future though. I don't want to blow my deck too much. I do want to make the deck okay for Act 2, or Phase 2 rather. I feel like we're probably just screwed. Our energy's looking nice. Got that much going for me. I think we just push for damage even though that's not the greatest. Nightmare can be a win condition. At this point, what does Nightmare want to hit? What is Nightmare trying to hit in my deck? Does he want to kill the Nightmare Footwork for the Phase 2? We hold on to Nightmare and see what else can come. What does Nightmare want to hit here? I 
Let's go, Terrence. How's your stream, buddy? How you doing? Hope you got a good stream, buddy. Yeah, I got Litter Tail, but Phase 2 is still kind of scary. I mean, I want to hold into Nightmare. I want to see what I can hit with it. I want to see what I can... Ooh, Nightmare Rayform, is that, is that what we're doing? Nice, man. 3 out of 5. Very good. Do we hold on to reform in the deck? Do we care? Um, is never reform what we're doing for the second phase? Do we kill enough time? Is that what is that, what does this number want to hit here? Hmm. Talk to the gamble, maybe. If we do footwork, sure, but. We have to do footwork, we have to play the footwork when he's dead, otherwise... Need a 39 relic run on Watcher? Jesus. That's nuts. Yeah, if I do it on footwork... I, mean, I can't really play in this, this first phase, I have to play in the second phase. In which case... I don't know, Nightmare's just gonna be clogging my hand. If I play on the first phase, it's suicide. In terms of multi-hits. Play in the second phase. So how do I have time to play in the second phase? I don't think I have time. Maybe, maybe this is nightmare rate just for the second phase. Hmm. That's gonna give me like eight turns of potential for the second phase. That should be enough. Maybe we just gotta look for skewer, like yet again. Back to the skewer game plan. Do you want to do Bladeness to try to get some Dead Branch stuff? I'd rather get stuff I can control with No Rise. Greetings. Oh, Santis. Thank you for the Twitch Prime, man. From Catalonia. Thank you, buddy. Well, this is where we take a lot of damage. I think we have... Oh, wow. Well, I don't want to proc your tail here, so... Ooh, was I supposed to Nightmare something? To get Exhaust to try to save me? It's too late now, right? I don't want Proc Lizard Toad here. Huh. Do I look for Rayform with Power Pot? Oof. I just need Potion so I don't die. Oh shit. Is Nightmare After Image gonna be the play? Yikes, that's really crazy. I could do Nightmare Rayform as well. That means we're gonna have potentially another Rayform in the deck. We have Intangible for days. If I do After Image, that's really good for the second phase. I just gotta avoid the multi hits. It's a lot of intangible, but I, he's, the first phase is not done yet. When, if the first phase is done, then I'm happy with that. And Rayform now just saves me damage. Do I just do Rayform now to save damage? Oof. If I do Rayform now... If I do Rayform now... Now I'm going to kill him fast, but then I'm not going to have dexterity for the second phase. Whereas after image by itself could probably carry me for the second phase. Rayform right now does save me. Damn. Does the energy cost stay zero next turn because of power pot, or does it re reset? I don't know if the energy cost stays zero. Yo, Nolth, Dolph, thanks for the following, buddy. I guess the question is, I gotta kill this guy real quickly. Mm -mm -mm. After image. Is after image four block a card gonna be more relevant for the second phase? The problem is, I move now. Oh, the moment I learned how to move, the statue can move. I don't want to reform now. Uh, but I don't want to play after images either. I, just, I don't want to play any powers in the first phase. I mean, maybe reform, I, if I play reform, enough reforms, I should be able to kill the second phase in time, right? Yeah.
just gotta stay alive. I don't want to lose ink bottle. That's the thing. Am I close to lethal? I am close to lethal because pendant's coming up. Hopefully this gives me a block. Oh, that gives me block by discarding. Ooh, that gives me a lot of ships though. Ooh, did we just go for it? With pendant? Did we just go for it? Dead branch, be, be kind to me. Ooh, do I want all these ships? Oh man, at this point, Piercing was pretty good. Wait, if I kill him now, Piercing was actually perfect. That's huge. Piercing was huge right now. Wait, Piercing was amazing right now. Whoa, this is not bad at all. We got Malays for next phase as well. We do double ganger. This is not bad at all. This one's huge. I could just do double ganger and the next one do raid form and stuff like that. And we got malaise. We also got crippling cloud. Like wow, we got options. We're even close to doing grand finale, but um, okay. Uh, we blood our deck quite a bit. We have a lot of raid forms to draw into. Is malaise gonna be worth it for next phase or just crippling cloud for weekend? Hmm. More storm, storm steel? Is it just dead branch take the wheel? Storm of steel? You know what? Eh, I, I like Crippling Cloud as well. I wonder if we ever just Rayform or we're just going Storm of steel. Oh, that's double Rayform. Rayform max po Do we just Rayform poison and do you just take the wheel, maybe? What if we do Rayform and just big fat malaise and then the multi hits don't do anything? Does that buy us enough time? Storm of steel. Ship Stormer Steel does give us a lot of block because of tough bandages. Do we just do. Is, are we malaising? Like, hmm. Do we just do Ray Form one of them and then we do like the poisons and then Stormer Steel? And we don't do malaise at all? Isn't Venom worth it for damage here? This is weird. Because I can also do things like big malaise. There's like 30 damage only. If I block and then minus 8 strength. It's gonna be at 32, but then it's gonna be minus 8 again, 24. Uh, that wouldn't keep us alive. Double Wraith. I wanna get poison going. I wonder if we. Oh, Terror's great. Okay, do we do keep Storm here? Unharmonically? Or do we want to do big malaise? I think we do this actually. Should have played the weekend maybe. Hmm. More wraith form? Is that overdoing it though? Yikes. Huh. I need to save my energy. We got Nightmare. Oh my god, we got Nightmare again. Holy shit. I was gonna do Callus, but Nightmare's probably better. Nightmare for Rayform just keeps it going. Or I could just do. I need to get my energy back though. That's the problem. We got Nightmare Rayform again. That's huge. We have Outmaneuver as well. Wow. Wow, I know I need a block here. I see that. Um, I wanna play Outmaneuver. But then I can't do Stormer Steel. So what if I do Almaneuver Leg Sweep? And then I do Tools of Trade and then I hold on to Nightmare Raid Form. Is that too much? We should have enough damage, right? Finisher seems good. I like Stormer Steel for Finisher, but I'll do, I'll do this. I'm gonna just popping crap out of my Popping out of my ass right now. That gives me block. Why did I hit finisher? How could I gamble because a lot of block as well? Is burst better? What does burst do for us versus calculated gamble? Toast the trade means we can actually get sick block a turn. 
It's important that we get our energy back. Stormer still is not bad to hold on to. Callus is great. Let me just do a double wraith again. Although glass damage is really good damage. That means the draw back into wraith, which is a little bit scary. Maybe I should hold on to as many wraith as possible. Hmm. Maybe that's the play. That should, that should win now, right? Should just win now. Should just win. Keep pendib for for act four elite, however relevant that would be. And we kept Lichito alive, which is not bad. I want to save Pendip. How do I save Pendip here? Am I supposed to just look for poison here to save Pendip? I mean, he dies two turns as well, right? I, I don't, he's dead next turn. Hmm. Skiru would be good for this deck. Would be good for this deck. This is just me getting Nightmare Ray from, from No Rise. I don't know how the heart's gonna manage this, or how am I gonna manage the heart, rather. I do not know. I, I'm, getting such th I'm getting the weird decks. I'm doing the weird silent. But it's good, like I said, guys, if I win these runs, then the poison runs are free wins, right? So then if you get free wins, and if you win the runs you're not supposed to win, or technically, then you're doing great. A lot of gold, guys. Is Paga watch the play? I don't even know. Okay, Thorn Pot. Thorn Pot for damage. Um, not a very good shop. I wonder if they go full out in Dead Branch and go for Infinite Blades. I mean, the thing is, well, I don't think Dead Branch Floor 1 is necessarily supposed to win. I don't know. Well, on the Silent, you think they're supposed to win? I mean, the run. When I say it's not supposed to win, I mean like I didn't really get a poison archetype. I got kind of a weird attack-based archetype, which is not bad, I suppose. I mean, I gotta get used to it. Is Panache for damage gonna be worth it? I'm not even sure. Maybe Pocket Watch, Region Pot, Thorn Pot. We didn't really get a lot of good relics here. I would like to say buffer for the heart. I don't know if we need to go deeper into Infinite Blades. We move the strike for sure, though. We're just gonna make this deck be a No Rise and Dead Branch Vessel. Uh, does that mean we like Panache? Does that mean that we like Purity? So maybe keep things going? Do we like this for the elites? Probably not. Maybe we just need dodge and roll because we need some more block. With our existing footwork. We never got any upgrades. This helps just to the elite by itself, but... I think I have a lot of energy. What if Quick Slashes is necessary to get more damage on the uh, elite? Or if Top Bandage is prepared better? Uh, we only have... It's not upgraded. I'm not sure what purity does for me though. I can manage statuses. How do I manage statuses otherwise? It might be important to manage statuses. Oh. Better get rid of statuses and then put them into like cards that can play. Might be necessary. Get some block. Is, is quick touch is good here because you have five energy? It's just good for damage, right? Maybe? Or do you want to make the deck even smaller for no like a no rise vessel? I wish the RNG take the wheel. Hmm. Keep the deck small. Quick slash. Quick slash might be what I need to get lethal. Yeah, I mean, I think difference on the silent is not necessarily needs to win. Especially with this, like, the cards I was offered. But, um... Oh, I do like that. I do like. I think maybe the Busted Crown was the problem, or the Fusion Hammer. Because I think if I got upgraded, so let's say I upgraded like the the footwork, maybe we're a little bit better off. I don't know. Quick slash because we have the energy. I think it was fine. How do you get any piercing wills yet again? That's crazy to me. 
But we just want to get rid of... If we kill one of them, we kill them all. Because of Corp Explosion. So I think we do this. Not bad. I want to weaken. But I also want to do Dagger Throw. Huh. Ooh, that's a nightmare and a scripting cloud. Wow, 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 wow. Mama mia. Skewers, way to get lethal coming up. If I just kill this guy right here, we're good. Whoa. Wow. Alright. Fuck me up. Fuck my shit up. I don't need that life. I don't know about you, but I do not need that life. We seem to draw back in the scare and we win. Let's make that happen. Hmm. Hmm. I think I want to attack this guy because this guy's going to die with a corporate explosion. So I kind of want to keep my energy. But at this point, I lost Pocket Watch. At this point, I already lost Pocket Watch, but I want to, like. Hmm. I want to do all the damage on this guy because he's going to kill both. And we can stack a pen up here, so I think I'll do this. Oh, we, we lose the weekend though, fuck. Hmm. Maybe that was a mistake. I should have kept the weekend. I was probably, probably a big mistake. Oopsies. Pen of never do anything, and it's not ever doing enough here. Got the weekend, anyways. How are we supposed to do this? Okay. Get Pen of coming. As soon as we get Pen for something to kill him, it'd be fantastic. What's the move? Not like this, mate. Please. Let me draw it to something much better. Like skewer or something. Yikes. You couldn't just let me kill you? Am I supposed to throw him by here so he kills himself? Oh, he's getting blocked, right? Dagger spray, try to kill him next turn with something else because it's important that I need to do poison here. Mm hmm. Hmm. region pot, so it's not the end of the world. I have Blizzard Tail as well. There's, there's outs. This is good damage now, but the problem is it's gonna get blocked right now. And. Corpse Explosion. Goes through block right now. I'll do this. We got a region pot, so it's not the end of the world. Region pot is a two. There's still ways to win. So, how much damage is this? It's 27. Alright, then I have 4 energy left. But if I do acrobatics, then sneaky strike does 12 for free. So then I go back up. So if I do acrobatics, let's do acrobatics first. Okay. Okay. So this is 27. Which means he's gonna have 29 life. 29 life. It's gonna be 3 energy. Let me play one of these first, right? This is gonna be 13. 27 is 40. And then we're gonna have 40 plus 14. 40 plus 14 is 54. 54 plus 1 is 55. The guy's at 56 life. Wow. See, if I played poison last turn, maybe we were fine. Whoa. Does that mean, we have to, does that mean I have to do Thornpot here? I'm gonna double check my math. 
27. 13, 40. Yeah, it's 56 life. So I need to do 16 damage. He lives. The guy on the left attacks first. So there's a world where I can try to do thorns. Because he's not going to get shield from that guy. So if we do thorns, I have to survive that big ass hit. That means I have to do like all that damage and then survive. That doesn't even work. Neutralize only does one damage. Unfortunately. If I did two damage, we were fine, right? That would have been 40. 54. That would have been lethal. It's one damage off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So then what? So then what? I'm supposed to just mitigate damage here and hope that the region pot saves me? Did I waste did I waste energy somewhere? Maybe I wasted energy somewhere. Maybe I just wasted energy somewhere, guys. Maybe I just wasted energy somewhere. Maybe I was supposed to poison early. Like remember how I said like I should do poison because he has shield. Maybe that maybe that was necessary. Save energy to poison. I I must have messed up somewhere. I'm just gonna block here. I don't know. It's pretty pretty doomed. I must have messed up somewhere. Either one energy somewhere or I didn't do poison when I needed to. Is this took any proc here? That's the I guess that's the question. That would have been so cool. We also have region pot, so not the worst. I have no strength. Oh, we actually have no strength. That's crazy. Now, not that it really matters. Does that guy stay alive? No, doesn't even stay alive with full shield, right? Maybe he does. I don't think he does. Version. Okay. Interesting. New chapter. I'll be right back. All right, back. I had to use the bathroom. Let's see what we're doing here. So, saving buffer is pretty important here. Now, I think we save region for post. For post this tail potentially, in my opinion. And I also think that I want to stack weaken here. I also want to stack energy, but I do think that uh, we gotta save region for post for post lizard tail. So I do this, and I want to stack weaken. That damage could be relevant. That's cow traps. That could be damage. We don't get we don't get pocket watch anymore, but that could be really nice. 
we can't do flying knee or anything like that. We could do cloak and dagger just to get like a cheeky little dead branch, but there's no point. We might as well save the energy. Terror is very good for the damage. That could be enough damage for the heart. The purity for that. So this could be a buffer. This could just be a buffer here. How do we make it a buffer though? We actually can't. We can't do get rid of slime. I just can't get rid of slime here. Unfortunately, I would love to. Ice cream does work there. Okay. Those are still intact. Very important. Very important reminder. Purity came at the wrong time. That's okay. I still think we do Port Region Pop post Lizard Tail, unless we need to do it now. I mean, how much do we have right now? It's gonna be Lizard Tail Proc, anyways. Is this Lizard Tail Proc, anyways? Let's find out. So, Stormer Steel can get rid of everything and give me block. I don't wanna get, I don't wanna keep Void in the deck, though. It's like the block for 30. Um. Hmm. This would be a really bad time to do. It's your tail. We do purity first. Yikes! Is this our lizard tail? Hmm. Gotraps is good damage. Now the question is, is your tail multi hit feels really bad? Another Gotraps is very good damage. Very big damage. Storm gives us a lot of block, so we can save our lizard tail. But then we're gonna have shivs. Do we care? How do we manage these shivs with lizard tail? Storm is 21 block. Yeah, it's not bad. So I can use region pot to stay alive. And then and that means uh, hmm. Do I at least region if I get Lizard Tail proc? So okay, this is gonna be three block. Stormer still is gonna give me. Hmm. Do I, do I wanna play their branch game? Let me see. Wow. Hmm. Doggy in my lap. If I play defense. It's probably better not. Uh, it's probably better not to play defense. If I play cow traps, then I just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is 18. If I do the region pot, I heal for 10. 18 plus 10 is 28. And then I have 7 already. We, we... And we use the region pot, and now we have an extra 10, so we have enough to stay alive. And do we just keep ships in the deck? Does that fuck me up in the future? How many of these can I play? Let me see. You want to preserve Mr. Toe, right? So. I can't play any of them. I only have 21 plus 11 is 32. Piercing was very good to have in the future. It's always bouncing flash for damage, but catch up stops damage. I think we need piercing will for the future multi attacks. Okay. Piercing was very big here. Piercing was very big here. I hope I keep the region if I lose. So this is a good piercing wall, right? I do Vagler's over that, yeah. So we need to get Terror off on him. I also want to get piercing wall off. We have good block, but I think we do this. Getting the weaken would be nice. We already have weaken for the next two attacks. I think we have to try to find a way to Apply piercing well, right? 
How does one do this? So are we just throwing Terror into the wind? Terror helps my damage significantly, but you know, maybe Fish Munch is better. So we have so much damage from Couch Ups, so maybe we just value that more than Terror. We can probably get another Terror future. Maybe we don't need the Terror helps my damage a lot, but we already have Trip in the deck. And the Couch Up is doing so much damage. I feel like we just do this. Whoa. That's relevant, right? That's not bad, right? That's like 20 damage. That, that seems okay. I feel like every damage is going to matter, or, or is it? Is it one energy more important? That's nice. Every damage is going to matter, no? Or is, is every energy going to matter? I feel like that's pretty nice damage. Maybe, maybe doing the dodge and roll here would be nice. Hmm. Stacking up for pendant and stuff is also pretty relevant. 20 damage, I think that's relevant. Or is it? We hold on to double block here, so we can maybe block here, so we don't have to proc the tail. Or do we hold on to like Flechette's last knife and push damage? Because if we're losing the tail, wouldn't we rather have... We don't really have damage to push if we're losing Lizard 2 anyways. Maybe this is still manageable. Uh, 35. We heal for 2. Each block is 5, so I have 15 block. 15 block plus 11 life is 26 plus 6. It's 32. I don't, I don't currently live, so I need something bigger. I think trip is important for damage, but maybe I have to just do ships first. Because I need to get something better. Otherwise, we're procking Lizard Tail. Okay, does that, does that make the difference? So now I have... Now I've got a uh, 10 plus 15. It's 25. 25 plus 11. We, we, we're fine now. Now, can we afford to do... Uh, trip first So let me just do the math we have 10 plus 15 is 25 25 plus 2 is 27 27 plus 11 is 38 we, we, we could do trip first and we'll live at 1 HP That makes next turn more damage as well Or do we rather just do poison stacking or lizard t or finisher here? Is every little mat HP gonna matter? One HP for trip, that means I want to do damage next turn as well. So we get one damage. So calculate, oh my god, Nightmare, what does Nightmare hit? Holy shit, Calculate Gamble is huge, but what does Nightmare hit? So Nightmare's not that good here because I don't have any Nightmare targets. Because I already used Piercing Will, but Calculate Gamble is good block and I can preserve life. I really need to hit Piercing Will, but Nightmare could be huge if I can... So, let's say I take Nightmare, and then we find, by the grace of God, Rayform. But I don't know about that. Like, that's really that's really ballsy. This might be the play. So, we do Nightmare, and we hope that we get something crazy from Shiv to make Nightmare target. Or we do Calculate Gamble, which just gives us Guaranteed Block, which might be better. Yikes, man. Uh, Nightmare could be game winning, but that's a lot to depend on. Stormer Steel again? I think Pocket Watch is more important here. Do I want to do damage here? I think Pocket Watch is more important. This might be our Lizard Tail. I need to find Piercing Will. Ugh. This, the weak is pretty important. I. I don't know. We want to do damage because we do have vulnerable. Is that damage relevant? Are we supposed to be pushing for lethal? Are we supposed to be pushing for lethal? Or pushing weakened because I have vulnerable right now, but I also want to get pocket watch for next turn. 
I'm supposed to be pushing for damage. Storm to find whale, but then. Do I do storm to find whale and then try to hold on to it? Then we don't get pocket watch? There's other stuff than whale that I can find, maybe? See, I can keep my energy. Maybe I just go for Debra, Debra stick the wheel and see what happens. More tools of trade is pretty good. Dash is pretty good as well. That's good block. That's not bad. Infant Blaze is not bad either. Do I, do I do adrenaline now or do I save? I think we do adrenaline now. We got Corpus Collision? Okay. That's really good. These are all really good. Maybe maybe all this damage is necessary. A thousand cuts. I, I doubt it, maybe. I doubt it. I think poison will be necessary. But maybe infinite blaze is probably worth it. Fuck. Malaise. That is like a piercing will. For the multi hit. And then I have the shit for the big hit. Discard two cards, which is not bad. I can get rid of the shiv, or I can do that. That's six block for free. We have weaken for next turn. Um, interesting. We're pushing damage because the next multi hit is going to do 135 times but safe. So we're actually pushing for lethal. So we should go for lethal actually. If I push straight damage here, next turn he does 135. One thirty-five, right? So that means I need to do like, hmm. No, no, no. Uh, I'd rather save Lizardo yet again because I have Malaise for the multi-hit. I want to keep Lizardo for the next big cycle. There's no point in. I don't think there's point in procking Lizardo when I have block, because then I have Malaise for the next cycle. And calculate gamble. We have the latest next turn guaranteed because we draw a, a pretty pretty guaranteed. Especially a quick slash. Malaise is guaranteed next turn. Piercing will as well. Is skewer the play to get lethal? No, I think we just play for this. I'm not gonna shift because I want pocket watch. There's so many shivs. It's a good time to get shivs out of the way. It's a good time to get shivs out of the way. Hopefully. The thing is, I think I do calculate gamble here and try to push damage this turn. I was gonna go for pocket watch, but I realized this damage is probably better. Pushing damage is probably better. Pen up here. So this is 28 versus 42. Do I want to waste all my energy on that? Or do I want to just do this and get more cards? And more block? But the block doesn't do anything. Do I want to save my energy though, or just do more damage? I think saving energy is probably more important. Mm. I could do setup next turn. I can play for that. So I can do setup for skewer and then do deadly poison unload. Or do we just wait? Do we just save energy and have skewer pendant for lethal coming up? Wait, 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 wait. So this is pendant. We're just keeping energy. We're gonna have nine energy next turn. What's if I hold on to again the following turn? Uh, so right now he's at one thirty-five. So that means he needs to die with 
149. So 149, how much do I need for Skewer to be 149 lethal? Right now it's doing 14 per hit. So 14 per hit means 14 times 139 needs to be 10. Guaranteed lethal, I just won the game. Guaranteed lethal, I just won the game. Get wrecked, boys. Jeremiah's back in town. So you win the silent that seemed weird. So then I win on the poison. No problem. So 149, next turn this is going to be a lethal, lethal, lethal. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Unless I do my math wrong. But I didn't. And I had Lizard Tail still. And I still have Lizard Tail. Imagine. A man. With a bunch of shit. And he wins. I'm leveling up. I just need to... This is a YouTuber. A YouTuber with a frozen camera. That's a YouTuber. Just because, you know... It's unconventional.